Hello folks, Tom Nelson here. In this video we are going to add a shadow to a bottle. And to start we're going to copy the background to its own layer uh, in order to preserve the original. So we can do that by just hitting Control J. Or if we want to we can just drag this layer right down here to the new layer icon and create a new layer. Let's turn off that background layer by poking its eye out. And now we are going to remove the bottle uh, to its own layer. And the way we'll do that is we'll use the magic wand to select this bottle. It's on white background. This is pretty darn easy. And we'll hit Control J again, and that'll copy that bottle right to its own transparent background. And let's go ahead and fill this background with white. Make sure the foreground color is black. And we'll hit Control Shift Delete and blam we have a white background there we can see that poke this guy's eye out we can see we got a white eye white background going on now what we want to do is we're going to copy this layer uh, this bottle uh, again and we'll just go ahead and drag that down to the new layer icon now we have a new bottle and what we want to do is we want to this time replace everything in this bottle with black so we'll switch this over to the white here you want to use that control shift delete one more time and now it replaces all the pixels with black pixels so we're good there now let's that's going to be our shadow so now let's go ahead and blur that a little bit and we will take the filter go down here to blur go down here to gaussian blur and we'll set this blur to about five but of course you can play around with this and this will vary based on the resolution of your picture as well. So we'll say OK to that. Now that layer is blurred. So let's go ahead and let's distort that layer and lay it down where we want it to in terms of our shadow. So we'll go over here to the Edit. We'll go over here to Transform and we'll use the Distort feature. And that's going to bring up, again, making sure that we're on that shadow layer, that all black bottle layer. And we'll just drag our corners down to wherever we want our shadow to appear. And pull this corner down. Put it in the horizon parallel. And don't forget the bottom corners. Because we're going to want to make sure that we get those tucked underneath the bottle. And wide enough so that that Gaussian blur doesn't spill out of the bottom of that bottle as well. So now that we have that, let's hit the Enter key and make sure you hit the Enter key with the 10 keypad. And that will apply that distort to that particular feature, or that particular layer. Now let's go ahead and copy that layer. And again, we'll drag it to the copy icon. And we'll take this bottom shadow and let's add a little bit more blur to that. So we'll go down here to the filter again, go back to our blurs, go to Gaussian blur, and let's up this one to about 30 on this. And you can see the blur getting there. Now our goal is to make the shadow more blurry as it goes gets further away from the bottle. So up here at the top. So let's go up here to this top shadow layer and let's go ahead and add a mask to that and let's make sure that our foreground color is black again Get rid of that. we'll go up here to the gradient tool and again just selecting the first gradient black to white we will draw a line from the top of the shadow down to the bottom of the shadow and bingo look at that it's more blurry at the tip of the bottle or the top of the bottle and it's less blurry here down at the bottom now we can play with our opacities to even uh, add more features or or more characteristics to this particular shadow there's one last thing I've made a mistake on this bottle and we need to correct it if you notice the light on this bottle is coming from the left notice the highlights here and being cast to the right but the shadow is coming from the right and being cast to the left so let's go ahead and correct that 
and it's an easy thing to do. What we're going to do is select both layers of the shadows and we will right click on those and merge those layers together. Then we will come back to our image making sure that our shadow is selected and we will edit and transform that image and we will flip it horizontally and then all we have to do is go ahead and take our pointer and adjust move our shadow to where we want it to be and if we want to blow that up a little bit make sure we get it right there we go and that's all there is to it so have fun with this again this is a way to add a nice shadow to a bottle gives a little bit more depth and uh, a little bit more pizzazz than just a plain bottle on a white background hope you enjoyed